Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create and animate the Gmail logo using free and open source software, Fiction. So before we start, let's first create a new scene. Let's make it 60 frames long and change its background to white. So let's get started. Grab the rectangle tool and create an object. Let's change its stroke width to 155 and resize it to 530 by 360. Let's center the object to the scene. Next, let's convert it to path by going to path, object to path. Let's delete the old object. Next, select the object, then grab the node tool. Select these nodes, then click this icon to delete the segment. Let's duplicate it. Let's give it a different color. Then while the node tool is active, let's delete these nodes. Then let's insert a new node between these nodes. So select both of them, then click this icon. Then let's move the newly added node down by pressing G then Y to lock it on the Y axis then enter 200 let's change its stroke join to miter grab the other object let's move it to the top by pressing home then grab the node tool and delete this segment Next, let's break them apart by going to Path, Break Apart. Let's give them colors. This will have the shade of blue. This will have the shade of green. And this will have the shade of red. Let's rename them accordingly. Next, let's create the background which will also serve as the clipping mask for these objects. So let's duplicate them. Then let's convert these strokes to path by going to path stroke to path. Let's delete the old objects. Then let's hide the colors for now. Then let's select these objects then let's change their stroke width to 30 then let's unite them by going to path union let's delete the old objects make sure to hold shift when adding objects to the selection next let's select the object then grab the node tool let's zoom in a bit then let's set, let's delete these segments. Next, let's join these nodes with a new segment. So select both of them. Then click this icon. Next, let's move these nodes down by pressing G for grab, then Y, then move them here. Next, let's go to Path Union. Let's delete the old object. Next, select the object, then grab the node tool. Then, let's delete this segment. Delete these nodes. Delete this segment. Then, Let's see if these nodes are broken. So they are broken. Let's merge them. Let me undo for a second. So select both of them. Then click this icon. We need also to merge these nodes. 
Next, <clears throat> let's give it a color of gray. And delete its stroke. And let's rename it to container. We can now reveal the hidden objects. Then let's select them. Make sure to hold shift. Then let's change their stroke cap to square. So to clip these objects to the container, let's group them all including the container. So select all of them. Then group. Then let's promote the group to layer. So to clip these objects to the container, let's change the container blending mode to DSD atop. And to get the red color here, let's change the blending mode of the blue object to color burn. And to get the yellow effect here, let's change the blending mode of the green object to color dodge. So we can now proceed to the animation. Let's go to the frame 20 to add their end keyframe. For the blue object, let's record its X translation. For the green object, let's also record its X translation. And for the red object, let's record its Y translation. Next, let's go to the frame 0 to add their beginning keyframes. Then, let's select the blue object and move it 155 to the left by pressing G for grab, then X to lock it on the X axis, then enter negative 155. Select the green object and move it 155 to the right by pressing G, then X, then enter 155. Select the grid object and move it 194.19 upward by pressing G, then Y, then enter negative 194.19. Let's play the animation. So to smoothen their movements, let's go to the graph editor and smoothen their animation curves. To, to show their animation curves, let's enable them here. Then let's convert these nodes to smooth nodes. Then let's drag their left handles to the left until it reaches zero. Make sure to press X to lock it on the X axis. Let's play the final animation. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.